What's going on, guys? It's your boy Via here uh, with another podcast uh, here on the Via U podcast. I think this is episode three. Um, just starting out. This is my second time trying to record this. I was literally like four or five minutes in, and my camera just stopped working. So this is uh, the second second attempt. Um, but yeah, so in this episode, I, I just wanted to connect with you guys. Um, anybody who pays attention to my content, anybody who's following along the music or you know anybody who just enjoys and gets value from what I'm putting out, my goal with this podcast is just to connect with you more, um, to share some of my life with you, um, to hopefully give you some value and and just you know provide provide a a joyful experience for you through this thing we call the internet. Um, you know, I'm definitely going to talk about Road to 200 and how that's been going. Um, going to talk about some things I've been learning in the Bible, um, some things I've been learning at church. Today's a Sunday. Um, I actually just got back from church a little bit, a little bit ago, uh, going to a Calvary Chapel here in uh, Melbourne, Florida. Um, currently living in Palm Bay, Florida. Um, but yeah, just, just wanted to take the opportunity to connect with you guys. I think I'm going to be dropping one of these podcasts once a week. I'm going to be having some cool guests that are in the Christian music space, Christian hip hop. Um, and even some people who aren't in the Christian hip hop space, but just people I want to have conversations with. Um, podcasting is a great networking tool. Uh, it, it's, it's a great way to connect. So I'm super stoked, uh, just to be here. Um, and I'm super thankful you're here watching. Um, so yeah, I'll go into road to 200. Um, I'll give you guys a little bit of a backstory and then I'll, I'll kind of get to current day where I'm at now. So all my life I grew up, I was always a heavier kid. Um, I'm still kind of heavy, you know, um, I'm 25 years old right now. Um, and ever since I can remember, ever since I was, you know, four or five years old, I've always been, you know, chunky, husky, big, fluffy, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> um, And yeah, but I've always been athletic too. So I've always played baseball. Um, Ever since I was 12 years old, I worked out consistently, but it was always the food piece that would hold me back. I would always overeat. You know, I was always super strong. Um, Home runs and having fun in baseball and being able to lift weights was was always, you know, it it always came naturally to me. Um, But I was always heavy. So eating also came naturally to me. I would eat, you know, just... For the dopamine release and, and the pleasure of eating. Um, so that always held me back a little bit. So, you know, when I graduated high school, um, I, I was probably about 230, 240 pounds. This was back in 2016. Um, I was training a lot. Again, I was, you know, working out and, and, and I was maintaining that weight. Probably should have been, I'm only 5'10", so I probably should have been about like 170, 180. But, you know, I was, I was up there, 230, 240. Um, long story short, I, after high school, I stopped working out as much. St- started eating a little worse even, uh, a little more. And I ended, up, uh, I ended up at about 260, 270. And I chilled there for a while. And then I picked up CrossFit with um, some of the, the teammates at the agency that I was helping, you know, operate um, for a while. So... I also help operate a digital marketing agency. Um, And one of my best friends, Cam, you know, we've worked together for the last almost seven years now. And we started going to CrossFit and and that kind of helped. Excuse me. So we started going to CrossFit pretty consistently. That helped. Um, Helped me get my, you know, like cleans and jerks and like all that down. I think I was able to do like one pull up, but kind of going on a tangent here. Um, And then, yeah, so I was 260, 270. And then in 2020, we did something called the Raw Vegan Challenge. And that was a 30-day Raw Vegan Challenge. Nothing but raw fruits and vegetables and nuts for 30 days. In those 30 days, I dropped 30 pounds. Skin was glowing. Had so much energy. um, And and, and it was amazing. Um, Would I do it again? No, because it wasn't sustainable. Because as soon as the challenge ended, I binged and I gained all the weight right back in about a month or two. Um, so I, you know, sustainability is the name of the game for me. Um, so that was like a phase. And then after that, I kind of didn't focus on my health for a while, you know, kind of did little things here and there, but now here we are in 2023. Um, 
about six to eight months ago, I was about 400 pounds. So I gained a ton of weight over the last couple of years um, due to a new medication that I was on. And um, the doctor had told me, like, look, this is going to help you gain weight. This is not going to not going to help you gain weight, but this is going to gain weight, for, you know, just a heads up. So but I needed the medicine. Um, so ended up taking it, gained a ton of weight. Then I'm talking to my doctor and she's like, hey, I have another medicine that can give you the same benefits. But without the weight gain, do you want it? I'm like, yeah, I do want it. So I took the new medicine and now six to eight months later, I'm down to 350, 346, 347, 348, you know, fluctuating around there. Um, so I've lost about 53 pounds in the last six to eight months. So that's road to 200. Started this thing called road to 200. You might've seen it on my Instagram story or, you know, some of my posts, you know, I kind of give updates like what I'm eating and drinking and you know, what I'm, what I'm doing for workouts sometimes. Um, so yeah, got down to three forty six, and it was just from switching my medication and eliminating fast food. Uh, <laughs> if you look at my DoorDash history, you know, if you were to look at my DoorDash history, you would see thousands of dollars spent over the last couple of years of just binging on DoorDash. And that's really where a lot of the weight gain came from. And it was hurting me from a financial standpoint as well as a health standpoint. So it was compounding, you know, compound, whatever you want to call it, you know, damage, compound damage, you know, to my life and from a financial and from a fitness standpoint. Um, I try to, you know, recently I've been trying to break down life into faith, family, fitness, finances, and fun. Um, the five F's I try to break it down into those. And it was hurting my finances and my fitness. So stop door dashing, stop with the fast food and just, you know, freaking drop the drop good, good bit of weight there. Um, prayed a lot, prayed hard and kind of, you know, stopped eating so much late night it'd be 11 o'clock and everybody's sleeping and I got a pizza showing up at the door. Like I was door dashing so much. It was ridiculous. Um, <laughs> yeah. So that's just me. Um, that's the road to 200. Yeah. So that's road to 200. What I'm doing now is I'm, I'm going to the gym. Um, I started, I don't know if you've read this book called Atomic Habits or not, but in that book, it talks about building habits, very small steps at a time, atomic size habits, you know, the size of an atom and just building habits like that slowly. Um, so what I did, I was like, okay, part of the book talks about how this guy, he, he started going to the gym and his only goal was to show up. All he wanted to do was show up to the gym. So I'm like, all right, all I got to do is show up to the gym. It doesn't matter what I do in there. I can go to the bathroom and hang out. I can go freaking do the elliptical for 40 seconds. It doesn't matter what I do in that gym. If I go in the hot tub or the pool, I just got to show up five days in a row. So me and my girl, we showed up five days in a row, built the habit of showing up in five days. Boom. After that, I know it takes longer than that to build a habit, but we expedited that process and we built that habit quick. So we did that. The next week, now I'm like, okay, I'm showing up to the gym consistently. Now I'm going to add intensity. So now I'm adding intensity, meaning I'm lifting and then I'm doing cardio, then I'm jumping in the pool. So I do those three things consistently, lift, cardio, pool. That's intensity right there. So I'm not lifting heavy, don't wanna get hurt. You know, I'm starting off slow doing like five by five strength programs. So that's that. So now I'm adding that piece of the, you know, I'm adding that layer to the cake. Cake sounds good right now. <laughs> uh, no, nah, I'm adding that layer to the cake, right? And then, you know, I'm still in the intensity mode. I think I'm going to go intensity uh, for one more week. And then after this week, I'm going to add in nutrition. So this week is intensity again. Next week is nutrition. Um, if I do intensity and nutrition at the same time, just to try to add those both in, I feel like I'm going to spread myself thin, going to, it's going to be too complex. And then I might, I might fail. So I'm setting myself up for success by getting small wins. So this week is intensity again. Next week is going to be nutrition and I'm just going to add those things in. And when I say nutrition, you know, I'm not doing raw vegan again. That's not sustainable. 
You know, I'm not a doctor, but I, I do believe in eating meat. Um, I don't believe in eating meat from these stores where it has steroids and whatever these, you know, nitrogens or whatever you want to call it. Like all these things that are in the meat these days. Ideally, I don't have access to it right now. Um, but if I can partner with a farm and get meat directly from a farm that I know has pasture raised cows, pasture raised chickens, um, and just does everything kosher and healthy, um, that's ideal. But until then, you know, I, I shop at Publix and, you know, I get my meats there and stuff like that. So nutrition's going to be, you know, it's just going to be. It's going to be simple. It's going to be chicken. It's going to be rice. It's going to be broccoli. It's going to be salads. It's going to be fruit. It's going to be intermittent fasting. Intermittent fasting is something I really believe in. Um, that's something I've been doing on and off for a while. I think that has helped me not get f- up to 500 pounds. You know, like intermittent fasting kind of helps me a bit. Um, I really couldn't believe it when I was 400 pounds. You know, I, I got on my knees one night and I just prayed to God. And I was like, God, just please just help me get through this. Just please help me find the motivation, the inspiration to to lose this weight. And, you know, then I had my call at the doctor. She's like, I got a new medication you can take that uh, doesn't have weight gain. I'm like, God, thank you. Bam. Didn't have any negative side effects. And, and that just helped me, you know, lose a lot of weight. So I'm down 53 pounds. The support's been amazing. You know, you guys always DM me. You're like sending me encouraging messages. And I notice when I post about the road to 200, it gets a ton of engagement. So I'm going to keep on posting those. Keep on keeping you guys in the loop. You know, it's something, uh, you know, you guys care about. And I'm very thankful for that. So I'm going to keep keep sharing that part of my life with you guys. Um, let's talk about the music a little bit. So if you notice, you probably notice I haven't posted, uh, in a, in a, almost a month. Um, I've been, you know, transitioning some things in my personal life. Um, I'm not going to go into too much detail, but there's been some, some new opportunities for me, um, financially that I've been, you know, laser focused on, on getting off the ground. Um, and I haven't really had time or energy or resources to, to put out music at the moment. Um, but before that I was dropping a song a month, every, every first of the month I would drop a song and, um, I'm, I'm in a transition right now and I'll get back to releasing music very soon. Um, but right now it's just been, it's just been a transition. So thank you guys for being patient. You know, I have a very small audience and if you're part of the, you know, the team via that that's out there, team via, I love you guys, man. You know, team via was something we've, you know, we've been talking about since like 20, 2017. Um, yeah, like been making music since 2016 or 2015. So about eight years now I've been making music. Uh, releasing music have been about been releasing music for about seven years, seven years releasing music. So, you know, oh, a lot of you guys have been asking me what happened to my song Go Hard and what happened to my, you know, song Eternal Life and Weapons and uh, Warmth and Right Now and get like this and waves pray for me those are all songs that were secular that i released when i first started doing this thing this music thing and i've had a change of heart and those songs had swears in them so i just had to take them down i just had to take them down um they had hundreds of thousands of streams and you know they were generating a small amount of cash and you know they were kind of building some fans there but I had to do what was in my heart and take those songs off streaming. Um, you could probably find them on YouTube because other people would post them and stuff like that. Uh, so they're probably still out there floating around the internet. Um, but they had swears in them and, and it wasn't, you know, wasn't my cup of tea. Looking back at that, it wasn't my, wasn't my vibe. 
to be swearing in public on a public platform and it's just not how I wanted to represent Jesus Christ and not how I want to represent myself. Um, so yeah, I, I had a strong calling on my heart to just take those down regardless of how many views or whatever they had. So that was, that was that. Um, hang on, I'm gonna go get a water. I'll be right back. Yeah, so that, that was the whole secular journey um, and, and why I stopped, you know, putting out music that had swears in it and, you know, had some some vulgar language and it, it just didn't represent Jesus Christ at the absolute highest level that, that that was called on my heart to represent him at. So that's why I deleted songs like Go Hard, Waves, Weapons, all that. Um, speaking of Jesus Christ, you know. I've been been trying to read this Bible more. Um, this is actually a Bible that my girlfriend's father um, gave to me. Um, I don't know if he gave it to me or if I end, just ended up having it in the move or something, but um, he wrote in it in 1978, so he's got ink. Um, and then my girlfriend's brother wrote in it in 2015, so I guess it's my turn to... to uh, it's all marked up and everything. It's so cool. Um, it's my turn to, to read. Um, haven't read the Bible in full. Um, I'll be honest, you know, I'm still, I, I've always loved Jesus my entire life, always been super spiritual, but never truly studied the gospel until, you know, this year specifically, maybe some last year too. Um, but I, you know, I've read bits and pieces of the Bible. I, I've been sticking to Proverbs recently. Um, Proverbs has been just an absolutely amazing, uh, part of the Bible for me because it's bite-sized wisdom that really just connects with me on a, on a life level. Um, you know, it's good for young men. It's good for, you know, young women. It's good for old men, wise women. It, it's just good for anyone. Um, Proverbs is just something you can open up the Bible and you're going to get value in th three seconds as soon as you read something in Proverbs. So um, highly recommend Proverbs to anybody out there who's looking to get more in their word. Um, I'll check out a proverb right now and just see what, you know, see what comes out of it. So here's a Proverbs. Here's, here's something from Proverbs right here. Um, good people will be rewarded for what they say, but those who are deceitful are hungry for violence. Bam. Value. Uh, be careful what you say and protect your life. A careless talker destroys himself. Value. No matter how much a lazy person may want something, he will never get it. A hard worker will get everything he wants. Bam. Value. So, you know, it's just so much value. Um, let me read. Um, the va There's something that literally says the value of Proverbs. So it says this. Here are Proverbs that will help you recognize wisdom and good advice and understand sayings with deep meaning. They can teach you how to live intelligently and how to be honest, just, and fair. They can make an inexperienced person clever and teach young men how to be resourceful. These proverbs can even add to the knowledge of wise men and give guidance to the educated so that they can understand the hidden meanings of proverbs and the problems that wise men raise. So it just goes in and talks about the value of it. Um, ultimate goal with the Bible is to read it front to back. Um, that, that'd be a huge goal for sure. So... Just putting that out there, you know, reading the entire Bible, Old Testament, New Testament. Um, I'm still getting my spiritual milk, though, meaning like I'm still getting my early phases of spiritual wisdom. Um, like, like, you know, like a baby drinks milk before they, you know, start eating a steak. Right. Um, medium rare. Best best way to cook a steak, by the way. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so just starting with, you know, spiritual milk, spiritual formula and then graduating to spiritual food and more advanced topics so you know that's just where i'm at spiritually um when it comes to the bible and you know jesus christ and um shout out calvary chapel melbourne um my friend andrew uh he he runs a company called amp nova good friend uh he introduced me to calvary chapel and some of the people over there and you know pastor brian sailor yeah he, uh, he's you know phenomenal and had the chance to get to know him been super grateful so so shout out to those people who have really brought you know a lot of value to my life and i'm super thankful and, and would love to get to know um you know both of them more so if you're watching this thank you so much so yeah one podcast a week um you know not going to keep these super super long 
Um, just want to provide some value into your day. Uh, so one of these a week and I'm going to be having guests. Like I mentioned, some guests will be Christian hip hop space. Some guests will be non-Christian hip hop space. Some guests will be sports players, pro baseball players that are in the minors that I know from, you know, back in the AAU days or, you know, just cool, cool conversations that just edify the mind and, and, and glorify God. And, uh, that's the goal of this, just to connect deeper with you guys. You know, like I was saying before, I I think, you know, podcasting is such a blessing, uh, because we can just connect on a deeper level. Say you're cooking a meal and you just have this playing in your ear and you're getting some value or say, you know, you're just, you're eating and you're watching this or you're in bed and this is just, you know, your downtime. So I hope you enjoy this. Um, let me know if there's anything you want me to talk about in the next one. Uh, let me know if there's anything I can improve about this process and this podcast, or let me know if the audio is okay and you can see me well in the video. Uh, my goal is to chop up this podcast that I'm doing once a week, uh, some with guests, some without guests. And my goal is to chop it up into social content. Oh, just knocked over the mic. Um, <laughs> uh, hang on a sec. Yeah, so again, my goal is just to, to chop these into social um, content so I can just have you know consistent content going out. And this is one of my layers. Um, I probably sound like a marketer because I am a marketer. Um, been a digital marketer for seven years now. Shout out my one of my best friends in the world, my brother Cam, who uh, put me onto the digital marketing world. Um, you know, shout out to my brother Landon, who's been, you know, training me when it comes to just different things in life and like sales and and in and, and my personal realm yes i still have you know a job <laughs> um you know i'm an entrepreneur at heart and and i'm a marketer um but i still have a job that that, that has to pay the bills my ultimate goal is to do music one day full time absolutely full-time music just living off of spotify streams living off or not just spotify but living off of streaming uh living off of a subscription platform one day yes there will be a subscription platform coming soon i just want to you know give you guys some more value before i just try to take your money like i'm not trying to be that guy who's like give me your cash um (laughs) so i'm just trying to just build an audience first provide a ton of value and then i'll probably do a subscription platform Um, heavily inspired by guys like Mike, um, V wills, um, Nick D, um, heavily inspired by these guys, you know, Forrest Frank, um, Hulvey, um, just a lot of these guys who are not only making, you know, music that that's just fire, um, but also who, you know, who are, uh, you know, running, running cool subscription platforms that, that people enjoy. Um, I think that's providing so much value to the world of creativity and art, um, especially for, you know, musicians who are looking to make a living, you know, um, I feel like, I feel like it's so doable to, to, to make five grand a month from 500 people say only had 500 fans, but each of them paid $10 a month for a subscription to exclusive content, exclusive music, unmixed demos, behind the scenes footage, like stuff that'll never see the light of day on public internet, but um, it gets posted on the subscription platform. So doable to, to get five grand a month from 500 people paying, paying 10 bucks a piece. So that's one of my goals, man. So I'm just putting it out there into the, the world and, you know, giving it to God and it's in God's hands. Um, whatever he wants to happen will happen. Um, and yeah, so let me know if you have any guests you want me to get on here. Uh, you know, I, I do live near some, some, some very, um, some very popular and, and, and well-respected Christian, uh, musicians and Christian rappers. Um, you know, so I can potentially get some interviews with them in person and we can sit down and chop it up. Um, I also, you know, can do zooms with people. So just let me know if there's anybody you want me to reach out to, to get on this, that you, that you'd like to see me talk with and and talk about life and share their testimony. Um, otherwise guys, you know, it's been real. I'm going to have to wrap up here soon. Cause I gotta, I gotta get this together and edit it and then put it on the internet. And, uh, and yeah. All right, guys. I love you guys. Um, thank you for being, uh, on team via and yeah.
Shout out to Jesus Christ. I love you guys. All right. Have a good one. And uh, I'm going to get this edited and posted. Peace out.